I feel like we're like the Navy SEALs. We come in at night, we do our job, we make sure that everything's ready to go. It doesn't make the news, it doesn't make the press, and all you hear about is their success day in and day out with us. And I feel like we're the Navy SEALs of the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, I grew up as a kid here. Uh, my father and Al Davis coached together in the military. My father came with him in 62 and became the equipment manager for the Raiders. I was born and raised in this business. Mark Davis and I grew up as little kids working for our dads. I love the Raider organization. I love the Davis family. They've been good to my family for 50 plus years and it keeps me young, I guess, because I work with young people all the time and I'm always moving around. Danny Molina, everybody calls me Danny Mo. They call me the shoe doc. I oversee all our cleats, shoes, and stuff like that. So if people have foot issues or cleat issues, they come to the shoe doc and I try to help them out and write a script for them. Vontae Hall, I worry about jerseys and having people's names spelled right on the back. After the game, the stains come in and we got to try to get stains out. Adam Johnson, I spot practice. I scrub the quarterback footballs, kind of help with the helmets and shoulder pads if needed. John Miranda, I uh, prepare helmets and shoulder pads and uh, footballs for the team. I think it's very important that everybody in the put room connects with all the players, all the coaches, the trainers, administration. You pretty much have to take care of everybody in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, Each player is different, and they all have different preferences. We just try to have that conversation with them. It's all about earning, gaining, and keeping the player's trust. We have to know what we're doing and what we're saying to them and present it in a way that they can understand and comprehend it so that like, oh yeah, this guy really, really has my best interest and my safety in mind. Uh, I don't want um, to have the players thinking about, oh man, my helmet doesn't fit nice. I want that to be the last of their issues. I want to make sure that what they have to worry about is just on the field. Go out and play. Do what you, you, you're you here to do, and you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on all your stuff. Locked off, touchdown! He's off to the races! Here in Seattle, nobody's gonna catch him! Monday, uh, primary focus is laundry, making sure that the coaches Whatever they wore is all packed and uh, the dry cleaning goes out. Tuesdays when John and I usually prep the quarterback balls, we try to each do a minimum of three a week. Wednesday morning, start the process of the new week. Pull the scout team jerseys to make sure that the offense is ready. Talk to the offensive coaches, see what they need for practice and preparation that day. Thursday morning is much like Wednesday in terms of prepping for practice, making sure everything's in order. Friday, we start locking in uh, with all our equipment and uh, we start trying to fine-tune what we're going to use for the game. Saturdays is like I call my baby. I go to the stadium and uh, help Bob set up the stadium with the other guys, but really I kind of fine-tune it, go through it. I'll check things a million times, but I just want things to be perfect. And then Sunday's game day, which is what we all work for to, to prepare and, and get the coaches and players and staff ready for that. During the game, we watch the game differently. You're looking for, is a guy's cleat untied? Is his shoelace broken? Is a pad rip? As we know, this game comes down to one play, and if he's out the play because of a equipment malfunction, that really could determine a win or a loss because in this business, in this industry, things can pop up and you've got to be able to handle those. Obviously, you're a spectator, but you're looking to make sure that you're not the reason or your team's not the reason that you don't have success. As a kid, you think about coaching or playing, you don't realize the auxiliary positions, but at the same point, most of us are sports fanatics that found a role, found a niche that where we get to, you know, work with coaches and players at a level that not a lot of people get access to. The best part about it really is my five guys that work for me, all five of us, we get along so well and we pick on each other constantly about everything and it makes the day fun. But we also work very, very hard too. Every one of us take pride in what we do and we believe this is something we want to do for the rest of our lives. Every day I wake up and I feel blessed to be a Raider. Just knowing that if you can help this organization with, it's the greatest feeling ever.